Hey, my name is Rakib and I'm one of the engineers at Convex who built our new log streaming feature. And so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that. For context, Convex has been supporting larger and larger customers. And one of the most important things in production ready backends is being able to monitor and observe your application. So what this means for Convex is we wanted users to be able to monitor the performance and support more complex query and storage patterns with the logs that you generate in your Convex functions. Uh, so log streaming takes those logs as well as a bunch of other metadata and events that happen in your backend and sends it out to your favorite logging destination. We currently support three log streams. We started with Datadog, um, Axiom, which was a user request, and Webhooks, which is kind of like our escape hatch where we post log events to whatever URL you configure. And if there's another log stream that you'd like to see here, please let us know on Discord or send us an email and we'll be happy to build it. So one of the tricky things about getting log streams to work in Convex was really thinking about some of the consistency guarantees we wanted to provide. Um, it's challenging because logs are some of the highest throughput events that are generated by uh, many backends, because it's really easy to just busy loop and generate a ton of logs. And so we had to consider what are the delivery guarantees and uh, ordering guarantees we could provide on this. And to see some of our decisions, you can check our log streams page in the documentation. Um, but we, we took a lot of inspiration from Kafka, and we also looked at other log streaming systems, um, or I guess other stream processing systems like Apache Storm. And so that was a really gratifying and really interesting part of the engineering effort for log streams. So to show you some of the cool things you can do with log streams, I'm going to set up a log stream in Axiom for our project AI Town. Here I'm on my AI Town dashboard in uh, Convex dashboard, and I've navigated to the settings and then the log streams tab. Here I want to configure an Axiom log stream so I can uh, open up the Axiom configuration modal. And I can see that I need a dataset name, an API key, and I can specify a list of attributes. So let's do that. Copy this, go back to data sets. Now I can just call this AI town, put an API key, and maybe I wanna add an attribute here, call it project AI town. These attributes will just show up on all the payloads that get sent to Axiom, as you can see, the Axiom Sync is verified and now active. So if I go navigate to the streams page, click AI Town, I can see that my function logs are all being streamed in the structured format to Axiom. So I can do all kinds of cool things here. So maybe I wanna find which functions are erroring uh, as, a, as a way to debug. So I can look at the topic. Every log event in Convex has a topic and specifically I'm, I'm interested in the execution record. So let's start with that. Let's look for data.status equals failure. So this is any convex function which, which er throws an error, an uncaught error will generate this uh, like failure event. And any convex function will generate, after executing, will generate an execution record log event. So I can see here that, oh, there's a bunch of functions that are erroring. I can see specifically this run agent batch has this uncaught server error. So maybe this is something that I should probably go and debug. Uh, there's a bunch here as well. And another cool thing you could do is actually generate dashboards. Here I can go to this dashboards tab and create a new dashboard. I'm gonna call this AI town test. And specifically, I'd like to visualize which functions on my convex backend are slower and take a finer look at how I can improve the performance of those after. So I'm gonna create a chart here where I'm gonna be plotting the percentiles of the execution times. So as you can see, uh, they already give a suggestion for this, which is nice. All right, and maybe I wanna group by the function names themselves. So, oh, it's right here, data dot underscore function path. This will actually identify the functions. So now I can save this and maybe make this a little bit bigger. And as you can see here, I can see that these are the latencies of my functions. I can see that specifically it's it's this run agent back batch function that's taking much larger, like a lot more time than all the other functions. Uh, so maybe I need to take a final finer grained look at that. And of course you can set whatever latencies you want. And another cool thing you can do is actually generate monitors. So I'm not gonna actually set this up right now, but uh, you can create alerts based on these metrics as well. So maybe I want to create some kind of alert, like, you know, function milliseconds. 
and if there's any function that takes longer than two seconds, then maybe this is something that I'd want to monitor. And I just need to generate a query here. Here I can just do data dot. Let's say that if the average of the execution time milliseconds gets too high, create this monitor. What this is telling me is that if any of my functions if the average execution time of my functions exceeds two seconds within any five minute period, it'll alert me. And I can set alert like monitors like who I want to alert, whether it be email or whatever. And so this is a great way to get visibility and into your convex deployments. Thanks for checking out this video. Log streaming has been a pleasure of a feature to work on. So make sure if you have convex pro to give this feature a try.